Now, what I'm going to start explaining, right, is inequalities. Now, you may not have come across this in first year, but I'd say you would have touched it in um, a bit of sixth class. <clears throat> so you've probably seen this symbol already. Now, this symbol is less than. Now, the way to remember it as less than and greater than, right, is the one across from the page. So when you see less than, look at it like kind of a slanted L, right? So the slanted L is less than. Okay, and then the other one across the way, the opposite one says, is greater than. So if you had something like this, like your slanted L, less than or equal to, that would mean it's either less than something or it's equal to it. Same here, greater than or equal to, right? So the slanted L, L for less than, okay? Now, we've three different types of sets that you will have come across. And the first type is known as the natural numbers. And we use the letter in for natural numbers. Now, what is a natural number? A natural number is all the counting numbers. So it's things that you can count, like sweets or beads or marbles or footballs, things that you can actually physically count. So you would have learned about them in national school. So you can't count minus numbers. So you can't count minus three, minus four, right? So you don't call them natural numbers. You can't count zero, so you don't call that a natural number. The natural numbers begin at one. So what is a natural number? It's all the counting numbers, and it's the set of all positive whole numbers. So positive is counting. Whole means it has to be a full number. So you wouldn't have one and a half, or two and a half, or 3.6. It has to be either three or four, right? Think of children in your family. You wouldn't have two and a half children. You'd either have two or you'd have three. Okay? So it's the positive whole numbers. Right? It's represented on the number line by dots. Now you'll come across that at another stage. And we say X is an element of in for natural numbers. So if you had a number line and you had X is less than or equal to three, you'd have a number line. One, two, three. It's less than or equal to three. So it could be three, it could be two because it's less than it, it could be one. It wouldn't be zero, it wouldn't be minus one. It's just those three, right? If it was x is less than three, then that means it doesn't include three. So when you'd be putting it on your number line, one, two, three, you don't put a dot at three, you go at two and at one. That's x is less than three. So what you'd need to know is those three things. If you're asked what's a natural number, it's all the positive whole numbers. It's represented on the number line by dots, and we use the symbol in. The next one is integers. Now, what's an integer? Again, you'd have done this last year. It's the set, this time, of all positive and negative whole numbers. So it includes the minus numbers this time, but it doesn't include the decimals and fractions. It's still whole numbers. So you wouldn't have minus 3.4 or you wouldn't have 4.6. You still have whole numbers. It's represented on the number line as well by dots. And we say x is an element of z for integers. So it's a little bit confusing, right? There's no z in the word, but it's z. So if I had x is less than or equal to minus two, for x is an element of z. They tell you which one it is. If it's natural numbers, real numbers are um, integers. So here, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, we could go back, minus 3, minus 4. So it's either less than or equal to minus 2. So it could be minus 2 or smaller than it. And it's going to keep going on down forever. So I put an arrow like that going down. See my arrow? Like that. It's going to go down to all the negative numbers down to minus infinity forever. Right? If it was x is greater then minus one for z. So we'd say it's greater than it. So here is minus one, zero, one, two. Greater than means you're going up. So it doesn't include minus one. There is no equals there, even though I have a crossed out now kind of, right? But this is what it is, greater than minus one. So it doesn't include minus one, so I don't put a dot at minus one. I start at the next one, zero, one, two. Put an arrow in, it's going up forever, okay? That's the second one, so natural numbers, integers. The third one then is real numbers. 
So the real numbers is the set of all numbers, including all decimals and fractions and whole numbers, everything. Right? It's represented on the number line this time by a thick line. And we say x is an element of the real numbers. So if you had x is less than 2, for x is an element of the real numbers, I would go to 2. And I'm saying less than, so I'm going down to 1, to 0, to minus 1, to minus 2. Now, it doesn't include 2 because it's less than 2. But it will include everything close to 2, like 1.99999 but just not two, right? Because it does include the decimals and fractions. So what I do then is I put a circle at two, but I don't shade it in because it doesn't include two. And I put an arrow or a thick line going all the ways down forever. So it's not dots. Why? Because I am including all the decimals and fractions in between the numbers. If it said X is less than or equal to two for real numbers, I'd have my number line, I'd have 2, 1, 0, minus 1. I'm going down, right, as again, like this. But this time, it could be equal to 2. So I shade my circle. See that? If it's equal to 2, you shade the circle. If it's not, you do not shade the circle. So you have three sets. You have natural numbers, integers, real numbers. Natural numbers, a set of all positive whole numbers, represented on the number line by dots. We use in. Integers, it's the set of all positive and negative whole numbers represented on the number line by dots. Real numbers, all numbers including decimals and fractions, represented by a thick line on the number line. So let's go on. So if I were to ask you, is two and a half a natural number, true or false? It's not a positive whole number. It's positive, but it's not whole. So it's false, right? Is minus three a natural number? It's not positive whole number, so it's false. Is minus three a z? Is it an integer? It's a positive or a negative whole number, so it's true, right? Is minus 3.2 a z? It's not a negative whole number, so it's not an integer. It's a real number. Is 0.5 a real number? It is, because it's all decimals and fractions, so true. Is minus four greater than three? No, it's not. It's smaller, so it's false. Is minus six less than two? You're funny, L. It is, so it's true. So the next thing, state the values for which it must be a number, x must be a number bigger than minus two and a half, right? And less than minus 3.8. So what numbers would you have? If it's an integer, so it has to be a positive or a negative whole number, greater than minus two and a half, but smaller than 3.8. So let's have a look at a number line. So here, say I had minus two and a half, and then I had maybe 3.8. So minus two and a half, the one above it is minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three. So what are all the numbers if they're integers? Minus two and a half is not an integer, so you wouldn't say that. So what are the numbers? We would have, say, minus two and a half is not one. So it's minus two starting. Minus one, zero, one, two, three. Not 3.8, because that's not an integer, right? X is greater than minus five, X is less than two. Again, it must be an integer. All the numbers bigger than minus five. Now it doesn't include minus five, right? So it has to start at minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one. It doesn't include 2 because it's not equal to 2, so I don't put that in. The next one, x is an element of z again, positive and negative whole numbers. It must be a number bigger than or equal to minus 3, but smaller than 0. So what are they? Minus 3. I do include the minus 3 because it could be equal to it. Minus 2, minus 1. 0 is not included because it's less than 0. All right? The next one, graph the following. So we want to put it on a number line. Graph it. It's x is less than or equal to 3, and it's a natural number. So less than or equal to 3. It's a positive whole number. No minus numbers. It could be 3. It's less than, so you're going down. It could be 2. It could be 1. But you don't put in your arrow going down forever because it doesn't include any negative numbers. x is greater than minus 3. Now it's a natural number. Or sorry, it's an integer. So it's a positive or a negative whole number represented on the number line by dots. 
it does greater than minus 3. So you do not put a dot at minus 3. You have to go to minus 2 to put your first dot. It's greater than, so it's above. It's going up. And it's going up and continuing up to infinity forever. Okay? X is less than 3. It's a natural number. It's a positive whole number. So 3, 2, 1. No negative numbers. Now it's less than 3. So I don't put a dot at 3 because it doesn't include 3. It's less than it. 2 and 1. Okay? And the next one. X is greater than minus 3. Real numbers. So decimals and fractions are included. It's greater than, so it's going up. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Right? Now it's greater than, but it does not include minus 3. So it's a thick line for real numbers. So the line goes up. Right? All the way is up forever. Not including minus 3 though. If it said x is less than or equal to minus 1. It's real numbers. So it includes all decimals, all fractions. Right? It's less than. So it's going down to the minuses. Minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Right? You put your dot at or your circle at minus 1. It's going down forever. So you put your line going down. Arrow going down forever. But it does include the minus 1. So I shade in the circle. Okay? Is that all right? So that's the first part of your inequalities. Now, the next thing here is write down the values of x for which, right? Minus 2 less than x less than or equal to 3. So any number at all between minus 2 and 3. So what are the numbers? Now again, it's an integer. So it's a positive or a negative whole number. So we'd have minus 2. Think of this as minus 2 to. All of that is to 3. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now go back, right? It didn't have an equals with the minus 2, so I don't include minus 2. It did with the 3, so I leave my 3 there. Okay, the next one. I right, just put on the blender. Shining in it. Right, so the next one. Here we have, right, minus 3 to 5. So it's integers again. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're all my values. Look up. It's minus 3. It does have an equal. So you do leave the minus 3 there. Look at the 5. It does not have an equals. So we don't include our 5. Right? Write down an inequality for this. All the numbers between 2 and 5. So 2 to 5. So 2 less than x less than 5. It's the same as up here, right? Once you go from the smallest to the biggest, this is what you'll always put in. We check then. There is a dot at the 2, so you put in equals. There is a dot at the 5, so you put in equals. Same here. Write an inequality for this one. Again, minus 2 to 2. So you have a dot at your 2, so it's less than x, less than 2. Include the 2, in, or minus 2, include the 2. Okay, inequality for this one. It's a real number because it's a thick line. X is less than or equal to 3 for real numbers. X is less than 3 for real numbers. Why are they different? There's a dot here, it's shaded, so it's less than or equal to. Not shaded here, so it's not shaded, uh, so it's only just less than. Okay, 